So I am announcing my retirement um, from professional rugby. So uh, it's been my last my last season. Um, I think there's a famous Wayne Bennett quote um, that goes around: "It's you're always far better off retiring one year earlier than one year too late." I'm just ready for a new challenge. It's been a it's been a hell of a run. You know, it's taken me all over the world and rugby and um, awesome memories. But yeah, it's it's time for a change. I have been really lucky to get an awesome opportunity um, in commercial real estate. Um, that's been that I've been working at this firm part time uh, JLL for nearly two years now, well just over actually, um, and it's just a natural kind of progression. Um, an opportunity opened up, and yeah, the time is right. I knew at the start of the season this was going to be my last one, um, so I've been aware of it for a while, even though it, pretty, it hasn't been. Um, public knowledge, but I've known, and my wife's known, and my family's known. So, um, yeah, it's, I've really tried to enjoy this season as, as best I can and live in the moment and be present. And the family connections with the club, the way like Andy Sanger involves the partners in everything and the kids, um, yeah, that, that's quite a big part of our lives now, uh, those weekends. So, I think they're going to struggle a little bit, just as I, as I, no doubt, I will as well. Quinn's at the moment. Uh, any club I've been at and any season is the most connected across the board, whether that's like the academy lads interacting with 10-year season pros. The rugby culture, I can't speak for other clubs, but I think it has changed remarkably um, and how accepting and welcoming and you'd say quite progressive a modern professional rugby club is. Like It's still incredibly intense and you know the standards and you know, it's a very high performing environment, but it's a pretty welcoming place as well. And uh, I don't think often that's the case and has been the case in historically in rugby. Yeah, I'm going to miss it a lot. And hopefully that, you know, that's the legacy that, that, um, that last year we kind of we set the base for and we can do something special again this year and then long may it continue. When I was at Wasp, we lost an extra time in the final against Exeter, so it was even more kind of poignant and and pleasing to to get that kind of monkey off my back because you know a lot of a lot of people never win anything really through their professional career um, in various sports so it was yeah it was big Franklin's Gardens on Friday that be last time um, and then big big summer kickoff last time at Twickenham well hopefully not the last time but um, in a regular season game and and then yeah knock out rugby hopefully I like to pull something stupid out like every you know every every few games because uh, it's so out of character. Normally I'm just like inside clears on rugs or you know splitting a mall up or something so every now and then they're gonna have to do something. Um, but yeah, I'll leave that stuff to Dommers and, uh, and the other boys. My legacy as a player, I worked bloody hard for my, uh, for my teammates and um, yeah pretty consistent and um, then I'll, I'm very happy, I'll take that. I don't need, that. I don't need too many tries like, uh... oh to be fair I was annoyed about Collier scoring. Exactly. No, another one. I'm still on zero, so hopefully we can. I can make amends and, and right some wrongs in the next couple of games. There is a bet uh, that I have with two of my friends. That if I score, do score a try and do the worm, there's a there's a reward, shall we say, a uh, financial reward. So um, if I do score and you see the worm, just forgive me, please forgive me. It's um, there's an ulterior motive.